It doesn't look too bad. Bro, that's a stud. Give me some. All right, well, we got it done, hopped in the water. Fisher just shot his donkey, and uh, this nice ling that Hunter shot swims up, and I'm just yelling, Hunter, 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 ling, ling, shoot, shoot. He dives down, there's probably a couple down there that were good size. He was able to put a shot in him, and then right behind him, I saw my ling. My ling came up, and uh, we got a nice shot in him. After Braden shot his, Hunter looks at me and he's like, bro, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is your first experience ever seeing this many ling, right? Yeah, I mean, we've seen them, like we've seen big schools of them, but I mean, these just popped out of everywhere. Big ones <laughs> and small ones. Usually, if you don't see them when you get in, it takes like 20 minutes. Yeah. But as soon as I got in and saw one by the rig, I was like, we literally, gun loaded. I mean, we got right up to the rig where we can actually kind of see the rig. And you know, before we could even chill out for a little bit, make a dive or anything, they just, they just start us. popping out, yeah, yeah. out of every direction. <laughs> Tons of them, big ones, small ones, so I mean. Second stop of the day after Fisher got his giant, we hopped in, Hunter got his first ever landed ling, and uh, I shot a straggler right behind it. Okay, well look at this, I don't know what this is. I thought initially it was my shot, but it looks like it's, oh, thanks bro. It's been stabbed before. I got a ling in my, my rash guard. Today it went from garbage, let down. Look at this, Ooh, something stabbed. What is this? It's got a giant hole in it. No, seriously, what? what is it? It's like, ooh. Dude, something stabbed him. What is that? Yeah. No, he's got like pieces of something's bill in him. Stingray. That is a stingray. Dude. He was laying on the bottom, got barbed. This is piece of a stingray barb. He got jacked. Well, today he got shafted. Oh! Oh my gosh. That's dude. gross, dude. That's actually disgusting. Ouch. So after satisfying our itch for cobia, we decide to go after some fish that we don't always pull the trigger on, mainly because we always are on the lookout for those big cobia and red snapper. But completing that today meant that we were gonna lay the hammer down on these delicious pompano and anything else that tastes good. Along with that, we find some Spanish mackerel that we shoot, and once again, these things are top tier, sushi grade quality. So if any of y'all are interested in getting some of the dive gear that I use and recommend, I'm gonna leave all of the links to like my spear gun, my fins, my mask in the description box below so you guys can check them out. So the target species of this dive is actually what just flashed across the screen. If you missed it, that was a rock hind grouper. Now these fish are notorious for their ability to camouflage on the rig legs and not be seen. But if you have a keen eye, you can find them tucked in little crevices or in between the barnacles on the rig legs.
see what. Oh my gosh, dude. It was a juvenile stone crab. Wow. There's another one down in there too. Dude. That's crazy. Inside the mouth of the rock kind grouper. It makes sense. They live right on the rigs. And that's what these crabs are. That's really cool. <laughs> you just oh, made out man. with a group of <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, dude. I pulled a, a little stone crab out of his mouth. Oh, man. Beautiful. Yeah, it's it's like in the boat. While these rock hinds are great at hiding, if they don't feel threatened, they'll come out and sit in plain sight. Using the slow and patient approach only seems to reap more success. couple more but I'm trying to find them with decent size you know this one's got a nice decent fillet on it it's gonna be a delicious taco second grouper of the day I am super stoked about that these are actually rock kind grouper a lot of people mistake them for strawberry grouper they do look very similar but the difference is the yellow these rock kinds have yellowish spots along their body and oftentimes they'll have just you know yellow patches like this one but yeah super stoked about it i figured i'd rather fill the boat with a few of these guys than uh, just a bunch of giant mangrove snapper so uh that's what we've been doing we've been going down the rig legs just kind of creeping along and looking very closely since these things camouflage very very well these are going to make some awesome awesome tacos as big as a decent red snapper so I was like yeah I'll I got shoot her. <laughs> Mine was only like 10 feet deep. Yeah I saw that. I went down to 50 to see if there'd be a big red and I saw him way out in the murk. I kind of thought for a second it might be a big red snapper because you know how they hang outside yeah. the rig. And I was like oh he's just a big mangrove but I'll shoot him. The current is so tough here dude. It's hard to get down. Yeah. Big mangrove snapper down at 50 feet. He was sitting way out there in the murk, but we managed to get a shaft in him.
Good fish. That's another cobra hopped in the water, me and Fisher. I was going over here and uh, there was like three that swam up to us. One was big and I clicked my GoPro on. It was taking forever to go. I'm just looking at this fish. It almost swam up and hit Fisher's butt. And uh, Fisher finally turned around and saw it and he was about to shoot with that gun. By that time my GoPro turned on and I struck him. He's a good one. Oh, ow. Oh. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the shafts. Let me get my fins off. I'm gonna get him in the boat. Yeah, he's a good one. Not as big as Fisher's this morning, but. He'll eat. That's a big one. Yeah. Oh. He's got a fat head. Dude, he's better than I thought. Dude, he's pretty. <laughs> Beauty. Big yeah, flat right head. Right Woo! Guess this was probably a female. Yeah, look at that. All right. Finally got a good sized ling. Fisher got that towed this morning. Me and Hunter got some decent keepers. And right there at the end of the day, we find a bruiser. These are probably one of my favorite fish to catch and spear. Just because of the excitement, you never know when they're gonna come in and they do put up a fight. That's probably the biggest sling I've shot in quite a while. Haven't been seeing a whole lot the past couple years. This year really we've only been seeing small ones until this trip today and uh, we just struck gold and got on some yeah. absolute studs. I just a big jack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fisher's in there shooting a jack for shark bait. We got guys that oh, good uh, they like to get jacks from us, so that's what he's doing. But yeah, big fish.